this is Jacqueline from FemFatale.com. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare the perfect crepe batter. So the main ingredients are eggs, milk, and flour. But for this version, I'm going to flavor it with sugar, lemon, vanilla extract, and a little bit of rum, or a lot of rum. So uh, let's start. So if you've been following me on my website, I've, I was born and raised in France, and I think the first time I prepared crepes was when it was in preschool, because that's what they teach. So we're going to start with two eggs. Let me crack them. The main, um, I mean, the way for me to remember how to uh, have the perfect uh, balance of flour, milk, and eggs is to usually remember two eggs, uh, 250 grams of flour, and uh, half a liter of milk. But uh, we're in the U.S., so I'm going to use U.S. metrics. It's two eggs. Let me beat the eggs. So two eggs for this one. I add a little bit of uh, sugar, about one tablespoon of sugar, so that the you don't have that egg uh, smell. I'm gonna add a little vanilla, about a teaspoon, and then we're gonna start adding the flour. So for the flour, uh, 250 grams. You have to count one and a half cup. So it's fairly easy. Oops, that's not very accurate. Let's add one cup. And then we'll add the flour. So for the flour, it's uh, one and a half cup, but for the milk, it's uh, half a liter, which is two cups. So you alternate between the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients until you have like a smooth batter. So now I'm going to show you the secret to perfect, perfect crafts that never stick to the pan. So before measuring the uh, two cups of milk. I pour a little bit in the pan and added uh, two tablespoons of butter, melted it and let it cool uh, to room temperature. So that way the butter inside the milk will mix evenly and when you um, pour the crab batter into the pan it won't stick and it'll be very easy for you to flip them. So let's add the half cup so that we have a total of one and a half cup of flour. Mix this. Oops. It's spilling everywhere. There you go. We add the rest of the liquid. Remember that was two cups. I prepared it so many times that I think I could just do it with my eyes closed. Let's try. Okay, so we added the, the flour, we added the milk, I'm going to add a little bit of rum. Really, you know, for the rum, it's up to you. You know, the, the idea is to balance the, the right amount of liquid and dry ingredients. So I could, you could also make the crepe with, without the eggs and you can find this recipe on my website, planfatale.com. But really, it's, it's all about, you know, finding the right texture. So uh, for this version, I, I repeat, it was two eggs, two cups of milk, a little bit of um, butter melted into the milk. That was two tablespoons and um, one and a half cup of flour, of all-purpose flour. But again, you can use any kind of flour. Whole wheat is fine, all-purpose is, is fine, and you could add a pinch of salt too. But you know, for this version, it's a sweet version. You don't really have to do it. So that's it. The crepe batter is done. I'm gonna add a little bit of, of lemon. That was 
a lemon that my husband picked for me this morning. So let's let's add the zest first. It really adds, you know, this essential oils from the lemon adds that beautiful fresh fragrance to the to the batter. I'm gonna juice it a little bit. I would say half a, half a lemon is fine. So I'm gonna gather all the pit. There we go. The crepe batter is done. So ideally, I would let it rest for at least an hour. But, you know, it tastes actually better the day after or even two days later. It would be fine to store in your fridge for up to three, four days. And we're gonna start flipping them and making the delicious crepes. Are you ready? So I switched the camera to the, to the stove. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt so that the, you know, salt really helps sweets in general. So I add a little pinch and we're gonna start flipping the crepes. Are you ready? There we go. So hopefully this is not too high. We're gonna melt some butter to the pan. So in France, the tradition is to prepare a crest for the Chambla, which is in uh, the end of January. And the legend says that if you hold the penny to the, to the handle of the pan, and if you're able to flip the crepe, you'll have a year of luck. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but it doesn't really matter because we are already in April. But um, I'm gonna add uh, about a quarter cup of milk to thin the batter a little bit. We're gonna keep our pan. It doesn't matter if I doesn't uh, if I'm not able to do it because we are already in April. So I, sh I just say that to myself. So I just pour the crepe batter. There you go, it's even. You're gonna wait until the edges dry a little bit and we're gonna flip it. So the pan was nice and bubbly. I put it to medium high. You don't want it to be too hot because it can um, burn the other side. But, um, so you have to uh, see that usually the first one is not very pretty but I think this one is turning pretty well so we're still gonna wait a little bit you can flavor those with pretty much everything my favorite is just like with freshly cut uh, fruits a little whipped cream and chocolate sauce they make the best brunch um, you can make them savory by adding cream mushroom, cream spinach, and or you can eat them plain with just a sprinkle of sugar. You see how beautiful and golden it is? I'm gonna move that butter. Move the brush. And look, you wanna see those bubbles. It means that it worked. I think it's pretty good. I think we have another five seconds, ten seconds, and we're gonna be good to go. Yummy. So you know when I was a kid, um, every weekend I was in charge of making the crepe batters, and um, when it came to dinner on Friday night, everybody had a pan ready and we would prepare our own crepes. So I really think that, you know, um, this is like such an easy, easy 
dish to prepare. It's like it can make the whole meal. You know, you have you start with savory crepes and then end with crepe desserts. You can also just put the filling in the middle, uh, make a little purse, and then tie them with whatever, like you know, um, mint mint branches or cilantro or parsley and make a beggar's purse. There you go. I'm going to turn it off. <gasps> Look how beautiful that is. There we go. My oopsie. My perfect crepe. So I'm going to show you. So I'm ready to enjoy the crepe. I'm gonna add a little sugar, sprinkle a little sugar to my crepe, fold it. Mm. It's fluffy on the inside and crispy at the edges. Just the way you I like can it. Find the recipe on my website on femfatale.com. You can also find uh, eggless uh, crepe batter recipe and many, many um, suggestions of serving it. Uh, I'll see you later. A bientôt.